So that went a lot better than I expected, honestly, but I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Neither of them tried to go under the tiny house or go under anybody else's, so they are now inside. But today is kind of a chores around the house day. Things I've been meaning to get done. And with our pumpkins looking so good, the first thing on the list is watering them. So I Later, I've had breakfast, got myself a little bit set for the day, and now I'm on to the next project. What I really need to do is clean both my dry kitchen dish drying rack and then also my bath mat because I honestly don't even want to show you guys what they look like. The bath mat, I'm blaming the cats. They have done a number on this bath mat. And then with my dish rack, it's a probably a combination of coffee cups, wine glasses, just things in general. These bad boys are very susceptible to anything put on them. They, thank goodness, give you these little instructions and then also sandpaper for cleaning these. So I'm just going to dive into it, give it a shot. We're doing the full process. I've been meaning to do this for ages, like I said, but that is the point of this video, isn't it? Oh, and these mats are made out of the diatomaceous earth type slash natural stone material that absorbs liquid and it just really helps with moisture. So we thought that it'd be great for our space. It has been, but I just need to clean them. So hopefully I can get them good as almost new. Due to natural color, beware, your dish pad will show stains if darker color food or liquid sits on it. Dab up any excess liquid or food before it can be absorbed. Light stains can be sanded off in a well-ventilated area. For deep stains, apply small amounts of diluted bleach or hydrogen peroxide and let it sit. So we have hydrogen peroxide. I don't want to mess with portions of bleach. So I'm going to do hydrogen peroxide, let them soak or sit, however I go about that. And then I need to run to the grocery store to both fill, let's see, I have these empty spice jars. I've been meaning to fill at Oliver's Market along with some oats I need to get in a container and then just a couple other grocery things because I want to do the test run of my oat bars. I've been talking about it for ages want to do it. I really enjoy doing that apple raisin bread. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you guys have not watched that video or if you haven't made that bread, you really should. I have made that a few times since then. But this guy, I need to make this recipe as well. So I'm going to do that today while I am out running those errands. I'll let the mats dry. Well, at least I can always just flip them on the inside when it comes down to it one day. do a little bit on each stone. I'm getting it like on my hands. 
Um, and we will see. spots look pretty good and that's really all that's on this one I wish I had a little dropper for the hydrogen peroxide but I think I'm just gonna use little cotton pads and dab the spots that are affected. Okay, these cotton pads are not working because obviously it absorbs really fast into these mats. So, I got one of my old JVN little like pipettes, cleaned it out. It's got like a little bit of water left in it, but that's fine. It's not hair product. And I'm just gonna do that. Just gonna drop it onto the spots. And it doesn't say to like rub it in or rub it to clean it. It just says to soak it in it. So I'm like, I mean, it's hard to picture the color absorbing. So I don't know. It's kind of just sitting on there. I get on this one it is the worst if you will out of the three but especially once it has a silicone mesh on it you shouldn't be able to tell that much I'll probably still give it a little bit more but I mean it's better than it was then I'll be a lot more careful and then like I said I can always flip it eventually so I'll have another shot there are also other colors that you can buy I just wanted the light colored one <laughs> figured that I would just figure it out as I go so we're at a point where I would say they're like 90% clean between all four pieces of the bath mat and the three pieces of the kitchen and as I just got more on me I'm literally getting handprints all over myself but I feel pretty good in the future I'll definitely do hydrogen peroxide sooner than later I basically put hydrogen peroxide on some paper towel just folded it up wiped the whole thing clean I would sand it and then repeat that as needed I thought that I was going to like soak them and then leave that didn't happen this took a lot longer than I wanted it to or expected it to 10% battery. That's not good for going on a walk. Let me charge that. Um, it's like 5.30. I spent easily like an hour and a half doing all of that. But that's why I've been putting it off because it took a while. Sorry, my slippers are like falling off. Let me charge this guy. And then I'm going to put these together and then head to the grocery store I still need to weigh the spice jars to make sure that I have everything just prepared. Since I'm putting them in my own containers, when I get there, they'll do the math and figure out what of the weight is actually spices. It is possible that because it's so late, Jared's going to get off while I am on the way to the grocery store on the way back. So he might pick me up on the way back, but even if he's off, I might just... Uh, to walk just to 
get some steps in because it's not that far to begin with and I haven't done that many steps today. I do have my AirPod in because I was watching a little bit of YouTube while doing this and I started just putting an AirPod in and watching TV that way for a couple of reasons. The main reason being for the kitty cats because cats have sensitive ears. We're in a small space. I already feel bad whenever we have like the espresso machine on or the Vitamix or um and the cats nap in the living room. So I just thought that it would be a lot better if they had a quieter space and we also do have neighbors and you know sound travels. So I've just been doing the airpods lately cool wow this looks so much better beautiful so i just leave it on the counter folded like this with this part up against the wall that way i can stack it on here or if i have more things that need to be clean i just pull it out and it's bigger so there is that and then let me just get uh the bath mat done. Quick random thing about this bath mat is one of the reasons why the bottom is in four segments like this and it comes apart is because you can have it in a rectangle or you can have it four pieces next to each other. Say you wanted it like next to your bathtub when you're getting out of it. So that's why it's like that. And then I just have to line up each of the four little divots with these guys. Love it! So I already mentioned my plans on how to better take care of the dish mat. And for better taking care of this mat, I think this is part of my plan. So when we aren't taking a shower or a bath and we don't need it to actually dry our feet, I think I'm gonna push it in all the way. It's obviously super close to the litter box and so having it pushed in like this, I think will give the cats a better like run through space. And we already are really good about only wearing like our inside slippers or being barefoot on it. Besides that, I don't really know what to do while the litter box is in here. Cause I think that's, I think cats are our biggest problem with, I mean, they're, well, they're solutions. Cats aren't problems. But I think that's, you know, one of the things doing me dirty and doing me wrong. Yeah, so I'm feeling good. Feeling really good. Let me just tidy this spot up real quick so I can show it to you. And gorge. Love it.
you did. Hey. It's kind of pretty. It is. It's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. As a what? Oh gosh. You mean the the foxtail? It's a relative to a foxtail. Oh, those are bigger. Let's do the bigger one. <laughs> this is not a foxtail. It doesn't even come apart. Look. Okay, well. They're not, they don't <laughs> stick to me. They don't hurt. You know? All right, I showed them the flowers. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to get back to Foxley anymore? No. Voted against it? Oh my gosh. Good morning. It is now actually the next day. So last night, as I noted in the video, Jared was literally pulling up, arriving home when I was finishing cleaning the dry mat. And so we hung out for like an hour, walked together to the grocery store, got what we needed, and then ended up just having dinner when we got back. And that was kind of our evening. So this morning, he is left for work. I have actually just paused the dryer, so it's a little bit quieter in here, but I've got like the laundry going to the dishes, and I am finally working on the oatmeal bars. I've got all my dry ingredients measured out right now. I thought it was a good time to check in with you guys. At the grocery store last night, I got two different kinds of yogurt. So Oatly is my favorite. They're plain yogurt here. So I'm definitely going to try that with the recipe. But the original called for a Greek yogurt. So I'm thinking maybe this Kite Hill one will work. I'm really excited about that. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to like differentiate between the two that I'm making. So I might just literally do half a pan. Or I might pull out the smaller one and do two batches in that guy. Not sure yet. Not sure. But I'm excited to be doing this. Super fun. The only thing I would note for me filling our spices last night, which went pretty good, including the oats here. I wonder why. Do I have the receipt? Because I feel like the prices in the end were like pretty darn good. I do have the receipt. The curry powder was only $3.85 for like one of these containers full. The... Mustard, which Jared wanted whole mustard seeds, so that was $2.62, and then our nutmeg was the most expensive. Um, it was $7.20. Jojo, leave her alone. <whistles> leave her alone. Thank you, love. Nutmeg was $7.20, but even with that, like, I've gone to the grocery store and to get a glass container of organic seasonings, you're going to spend $5, $10, $12 plus dollars on something, so I feel like that was a really good deal, and then the reason for the price change in that is just because, like, the curry was $17.49 a pound, mustard $10.49 a pound, nutmeg $39.99 a pound whatever and then the oats were $2.39 a pound so we have three dollars and eleven cents of oats I have done a cup and a half out so far in my recipe and this is what I have left I got a lot of stuff done are there more things for me to do always there are always things to do but I am just really stoked off of these little things I've done the Dorai mats look so good every time I see them clean I just get this like little spark of joy in my heart so it's a little thing sometimes that make a big difference and then I keep seeing this in the camera vegan NASA sweater I had one before that I wore all of the time Jared and I got that um, I actually think his mom got that for him for his birthday and we both wore the heck out of that sweater and it got to the point where you couldn't even tell that it said vegan anymore because it was so worn. So we got another one. Totally keeping the other sweater. That one's amazing. It'll probably turn into like a, not a grubby sweater, but say that like we're painting or we're working outside or something like that, then like that'll be the kind of sweater that we use. So yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i had a lot of fun i hope you at least enjoyed watching me get some of that stuff done maybe it's a little bit satisfying for you guys too but give the video a like if you did enjoy it subscribe if you aren't subscribed i'm working on getting to my 1000 subscriber goal so help me out i'm super excited my goal is by the really by vlogmas again this year i want to be at a thousand so if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for videos, leave those down below. Anything that you guys are interested that are in the realm of topics that I've been doing, trying to have my videos come out on Tuesdays and Fridays. Thank you guys again. I am not going to show you the finished product of these quite yet, but stay tuned because that will be out in a video once I have it all dialed in, perfected, and it's tasting good. So thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye.